Hello, this short video addresses the issue of managing stakeholder conflict. My name is Sandy Hood and I'm an accountancy tutor. I tend to look at SEMA and also at ACCA uh, exam preparation. We're looking at the site and march conflict resolution approaches for different groups of stakeholders and I've identified four causes of conflict. One could be not giving what was wanted. There isn't enough to go round. Not listening to concerns and refusing to do as asked. Let's see some examples. This poor chap has received some socks for Christmas. They're not what he wanted. So he's a disappointed man. Similarly, this lady has been offered a certain amount of a pay rise, but doesn't consider it to be sufficient. Not what I wanted. Here we've got two children fighting over the chance to sit in the front seat of the car. Again, a conflict. Here we've got uh, people objecting to Sainsbury's opening a new supermarket in their area. Perhaps they're worried about the traffic becoming too busy and not having enough room for them to be able to walk to and from their homes. Here we've got another conflict where a member of staff is simply refusing to do the job that he's been asked to do. So, how do we resolve this type of conflict? Sight and March identified four methods. Satisficing, sequential attention, side payments and exercise of power. What do we do with our dissatisfied person? Well, if the socks are being bought from a suitable shop, they may well be able to take them back and receive their money. So, fair enough, it may well have been a gift from a friend or a relative, but if they are able to take them back to the shop and the shop is quite willing to give them the money back for the socks, then that would be a satisficing solution. By satisficing, what we mean is that it would be more than suffice, but not quite satisfying. So the person has got something, even if they're not quite as satisfied as they would have been had, say, the socks been blue or whatever colour they wanted. Here we've got the boys fighting over the seat. And how do we resolve it? Well, we can adopt a sequential attention. Thereby, the children get an opportunity to sit in the front seat, but they have to take it in turns. We can't do anything about adding an extra front seat. So there has to be a, a sequence which they can agree to. And here we've got a little boy, perhaps, who's able to sit on the front seat on Tuesday, and then his sister, who's able to sit on the front seat on Wednesday. We've, we've got the problem of the supermarket, and here we look at a side payment as a way of trying to resolve the issue. So side payment or side pavement, perhaps, um, was the solution in this particular case. So the supermarket here has got a obligation or a requirement before they get planning permission to open their store was to provide an additional um, pavement so that local people were able to get backwards and forwards along the road um, because of they knew that there would be additional traffic flow uh, brought about by the supermarket's car park. Useful because the expression side payment from site and March's list, side is the same as sidewalk, uh, the American expression for pavement, and pavement sounds rather like payment. Here we've got the member of staff who's refused to work, and here we may simply have to exercise power, just have to force the issue. So what have we looked at? We've looked at four causes of conflict 
and we looked at the site in March um, conflict resolution. I hope you found this useful. If you want any more information about me or the courses that I'm running, these are available at the Facebook Accountancy Tutor or by emailing me at sandy at sandyhood.com. Thank you very much for watching.